Hi, I'm Leslie Ann Scorgi, and today I have Ellen Roseman with me. Ellen, you are very well known for writing for many years with the Toronto Star. I'd like to ask you about something that you have often written about, which is socially responsible investing. We see this as all the rage right now, and especially with millennials, they're talking about gender diversity, clean and safe car technology. What other trends are you seeing? Well, we all want to change the world. We think that the world as it exists isn't so great. It right. <laughs> could be racing toward its own destruction. And we don't want to encourage that with our savings. And I've seen a big change. You know, I was way back at the beginning when it was called ethical investing. And there was an, an ethical investing group of funds started by Van City, which is a credit union. So it kind of fit in their profile of being customer oriented. And then investors group had one called the Summa Fund and they were mutual funds. Mm -hmm. And it was about your values and about screening out companies that didn't conform to your values. And in the last little while, it's much more about what makes a successful company for the long run. It's companies that aren't sued for environmental issues, that are governed properly, that don't uh, have bad labor practices. And all those sorts of things you really see as a way to make sure that you're investing in companies that have the staying power to be around for the long term. So it's not really about your values, it's about the company's values uh, not uh, failing and succeeding. Right, and that is a perfect lead-in to the discussion that we were having right before we were on camera. I obviously want to include socially responsible investments in my portfolio and things like gender diversity, um, we've got the launch of HERS, which is an ETF that just came to market, um, and there's other very specific ETFs that are reflective of the socially responsible values that we have. How do we achieve diversification in our portfolios if we want to include socially responsible ETFs. And you can also buy individual stocks like Tesla. A lot of people are interested in that. Right. But if you're going to go the ETF route, there's uh, the Jancy Social Index, which is an ETF that reflects the top 60 companies on the Toronto Stock Exchange screening out the ones that they think don't really live up to a certain standard of social responsibility. And that's diversified. It has many of the same companies, you know, most of the banks and that kind of stuff, but it might take out maybe mining companies or something that they don't think mm -hmm. is, is quite socially responsible. And you can look at that performance over 17 years since it was launched, and it has slightly exceeded the Toronto Stock Exchange 60 index. Mm -hmm. So that gives you some comfort because at the beginning, everybody said, if you're an ethical investor, you're screening out a whole bunch of companies, you're not going to get the performance. Right. But the numbers indicate that you're not sacrificing the performance. Well, and that's a relief when you're looking yes. at putting your money into a socially responsible investment. Where is the future of socially responsible investing going? Well, it's obviously, um, it, it, in the past it always appealed more to women than to men. Mm -hmm. Nowadays it's the millennials who are seen as the big uh, movers of socially responsible investing and a lot of them are investing on their phones mm -hmm. through robo-advisors. I love the idea of robo-advisors because it's like a one-stop solution. You open your account, they pick a mix of ETS for you, they rebalance it and you don't have to do any work. It's much easier than buying an ETF on your own where you have to open an online brokerage account and be responsible for all your trades. So if you're doing a robo-advisor, most of the big ones now are introducing socially responsible portfolios which you can opt for or maybe just uh, that you can add some social responsibility to the existing portfolios that they offer. Right, so it sounds like there's a few options. Robo-advisors yes. sound like a very easy option. I could also call my broker if I needed to. I could open up an online trading account and buy the ETF directly. There yes. are a few different options. Yes, and then there's also this Responsible Investment Association Canada, mm -hmm. RIA Canada. And at their website, they give you names of advisors in all the different communities of Canada. So if you're a stock investor and you want someone who's aligned with your values, you can go there and find them. That's great. Thank you so much, Ellen. Okay, thank you. If you want to know how you can buy a socially responsible investment or ETF, check out lesliescorgi.com.